Hey, Howard Tree for Howard Forums here. Here's the Pyromat 1X and the Pyromat covers for the BlackBerry Tour and the Bold 9700. Let's check out the cover for the Bold 9700 first. So if you look at it, it looks very similar to the regular cover that comes with the 9700. Only the regular one feels like leather and the Pyromat one feels like plastic shaped like leather. The Pyromat does add a tiny bit of thickness how much thickness you ask? Let's find out. Don't worry, I only use these calipers to measure phones. So with the power mat cover, it's 15.7 millimeters. Without it, it's around 14.9. So the power mat adds up just under one millimeter of thickness. It's not really noticeable, although uh, if you have a fitted case, it won't fit. So here's how it works. There are charging connectors at the bottom of the Bold 9700. The power mat basically uses those to charge the the phone. So to charge it, you just put it on the mat. The sound means it's charging. Next, let's look at the BlackBerry Tour. Now the Tour has an older cover. It's no a bit thicker and it's a lot less subtle. The cover though is very high quality. Like it feels like a OEM cover, not some third party not a third party cover. The older one also has a much stronger magnet and so it, it uh it really grabbed the power mat really grabs it when you put it on it. Okay, so I mentioned it's thicker. How much thicker is it? So with the power mat, it's seventeen point seven millimeters. Without the power mat, it is fourteen point six, so it's around two millimeters thicker. Now the way this, this one works is there's charging connectors underneath the battery cover so the power mat just covers those connectors. So yep, you put it down and it starts charging. Now when the power mat is charging, there's a LED that lights up at the bottom. You can't turn it off unless you have the 3X or the power mat portable. Now let's say you have a silicon case for your phone. I don't actually have one for the Bold 9700. This is one from my Storm 2. Anyways, it will still charge even with the case on. And ha the case doesn't seem to affect charging time. Next up, we have the Power Mat Portable. It works like the X1, except that there are three slots for you can put up to three devices. And it folds up for, for um, that's why it's portable. There's also a USB. So what you can do with this one is you can turn the volume of that, the screech, when you put your device down, you can make it loud, medium, or turn it off. There's also a light, which you can turn on and off if, uh, you know, I don't know, in case if you find it too bright. So yeah, it can charge up to three devices at once. So now when I was I thought of some tests to run with the power mat. Basically, I just want to know if the power mat charges your device at the same speed as the regular OEM charger. So what I did was I drained the batteries completely on the Bolt 9700, and I charged it for half an hour on the power mat. Then I drained it again, charged it for half an hour using the included micro USB charger. And what I found was in half an hour, both of them could charge the the phone up to 25%. So you don't really give up anything by speed wise by using the the uh, power mat. Also using a case, like I mentioned before, has no impact on charging times. So in the end, if you have a phone with a compatible charger, I think it really makes a lot of sense to get the power mat. I mean, one story I have is that my wife who never charges her phone it's always out of batteries. Actually, really likes the idea of the power mat because she doesn't have to use a case. She doesn't have to attach anything to charge it. If you don't have a compatible uh, cover, though, then I guess the power mat makes less sense. Anyways, I'm Howard Tree for Howard Forums. That's my review of the Power Mat One X, Power Mat Portable, and some Power Mat covers. Thanks for watching.